Uh, so we spend a lot of time at the beginning of the year finding out what st where students are at and what they're good at and what they need help with and putting lots of structures in place and scaffolding and for what they need and to give them confidence. And a lot of our students are second time learners or um, students that haven't been successful at other schools and so they often come to us feeling very unconfident and nervous about learning and so it's just about building confidence in the person to succeed. Under this uh, the goal setting uh, model, the students are able to focus on what they can achieve rather than uh, falling behind and then uh, not achieving anything. Often they've come with a history where they weren't able to keep up and so they've given up. Um, by being able to, or having the flexibility to edit the number of credits or the assessments that they want to engage in or even the projects that they want to engage in, it becomes individual to their requirements and they can take the length of time that they require. We don't, um, I don't have a cut off for that assessment. Uh, they can keep, we might move on to the next project, but their work stays alive until the end of the year so that they can take whatever length of time that they require. So that individuality allows for greater achievement. So the impact on our students, um, it's been, it's been pretty phenomenal. I think we have um, we have, students come to us with with a lot of different backgrounds. Those who parents have made a conscious choice to put their children in our school because they want this way of learning, through to um, students who have really struggled for whatever reason in more traditional setting, um, and almost irrespective of how how they come. The uh, generalising here, of course. The what we find is that they seem to be happy, um, they report to us that the relationship side of stuff is valuable. We have strong relationships with the, with the staff and with students in the school. Um, it leads them to be pretty engaged in their learning program and that engagement uh, drives their attendance and, and their achievement um, because they're spending their days doing stuff that they either really love doing or for whatever reason is really meaningful to them. So lots of the the barriers that they find that they push against in education systems or settings where they're told they must do this, we've tried to remove that. So they're really an active and vital participant um, in the whole process. The positive impact on learning for the students is, is about creating um, a, a citizen for the future essentially that has a range of skills that's adaptable. Um, that understand how they learn, why they learn, and the purpose behind it. Um, you know, that, that whilst they have the skills within the subject-specific areas that they need for whatever career they go into, that they're a well-rounded, worthy citizen um, for whatever place the world is in at that time. Um, so the positive impact for them is knowing when they leave school that they don't just have academic success, but they have um, the personal skills um, that they are able to, to step back from themselves, that uh, there's a mindfulness there, um, that, that there's a whole, that the whole person um, is, is ready for whatever um, the world throws at them. We've just had our school graduation, so we had uh, 54, I think, students graduate, leaving at the end of this year. 54 students come up on stage one at a time with their home-based learning advisor and they celebrate their journey through Unlimited. And so they talk about how they come in as a year nine and all of the things they've done and where they're going. There's no cups, there's no ducks. It's every student being celebrated for what they've achieved and where they're now going. And I, that's what I value more than a place on the league table.